this session should answer some of the questions that you may have about store releases and versions and family releases and how it's all working for GRC and how you can take the best advantage of it. Traditionally, ServiceNow only provides new functionalities when we have a major family release, New York, Orlando, Paris. However, the GRC area has decided that things are changing too rapidly and they want to be able to provide new functionality at a more rapid pace. And that's where we get into the fact that we have started releasing new functionality in the store releases. There's actually another one that's coming out here very soon. And by the time that you listen to this recording, it may already be out there. Now, what you see down here underneath these store releases are the different versions that have been released on each of these dates. And if you're wondering what these acronyms are, you can take a look right down here in the lower right hand corner. But it's basically risk, advanced risk, policy compliance, and vendor risk management. Now, one of the things that we've seen is that when we are looking at the product docs and we're looking at our release notes, it's not uncommon for us to be scrolling through here and all of a sudden see reference to different version numbers. Where these version numbers are coming from is exactly what we were looking at over here. These are the version numbers. Well, that's all well and good, but how do you take advantage of it? How do you know whether you can take advantage of it? And that's where you need to go and take a look at some information that is on the store. I'm gonna do this with advanced risk, but you can do it with any of the other applications. So I have advanced risk up over here. And here you have your versions. And right now, the most current version is 10.1.3, but there's a link here for other app versions. If I open it, then I get the chance to see the other versions that are out here. And what you will notice is that many of these versions are backwards compatible. So if I needed to be able to take advantage of the new capability to connect risk silos and automate your risk assessment responses using automated factors, as long as my platform was New York, Orlando, or Paris, I could do it without having my entire platform have to upgrade to Paris, which is really wonderful and exciting that we can take the advantage of those. Now, there is something that is something you need to be aware of. If you're running New York right now and you're running version 8.0.4, you could be running 10.1.3, but for our example, we'll say you're running 8.4. If your organization decides that it's going to upgrade to Orlando, by default, you will get version 9.0.3. You will get the version that was first certified on the new family that you are moving to. So you would get 9.0.3. You could still come out and request 10.1.3 and install it, but it's not automatic. I happen to know that we are fixing to release a new major release um, that will be in October of 2020. And I know it's gonna be backwards, I know it's going to be compatible with Paris. I'm not sure what else it's gonna be backwards compatible with because I haven't seen this record for it yet. But what I do know is that if you're upgrading from New York to Paris, you won't get it automatically. What you would get is you would get 10.1.3. Again, you can request it, but you need to know that you can request it. So hopefully that has helped given you some insight into how these versions are working, how you can make heads or tails out of the information that's in the product docs and get what you need for your organization to do the best possible for GRC. Thanks.